Hey guys, and welcome back to more Bravely Default. So in the last episode, we got the Time Mage and the Spellpanzer Asterix. We will be equipping those fairly shortly, but first, we need to head back over to our airship. It has been a long time. We have spent a long time in Anchheim. Dealing with all those side quests, but we got a decent amount of good jobs. Merchants, eh, not really overly inter interested. Thief, not overly interested. But, uh, Spell Spellpanzer and uh, Time Mage, totally down for that. So while we deal with these snakes, uh, we kind of need to start making headway. We need to start uh, getting back into the actual story, the actual meat of the game. So Tiz, if you could just uh, punch these snakes in the face and allow us to move on, that'd be great. Thank you. Alright, we'll take those job points and experience. I feel guilty simply sitting around like this. We all need rest, my dear. Whatever we're to face next, let us do it with a full store of energy. Besides, I'm told exhaustion is murder on the skin. Think of your complexion. I... my what? Try to behave, ring a bell. You're upsetting the poor girl. Hmm, is that a hint of jealousy I detect? Perhaps it's you who's upset by... <laughs> You're hilarious! I can think of no sadder creature in this world than a man unable to inspire a little jealousy. It is. For now, I need some air. All this riding on the waves is... Uh... Do you suppose he's all right? Ugh, leave him. A little seasickness will keep him quiet. Anyas. Do you know the other Vestals? In your speech, you mentioned working with them. Uh, it is my hope that such a collaboration can be achieved, but I have yet to meet the Vestals of Earth or Fire. I know only the Water Vestal, Olivia. I have since we were children, as our temples stand in neighboring kingdoms. Since we became Vestals in full, We've exchanged no correspondence, but I fear the rotting of the seas is proof enough that some ill has befallen the water crystal. I pray that Olivia has fared better. That was fast. Feeling better? Vessel of the Wind Crystal, Agnes Oblige. Surrender at once, or see your companion slain. You! Dark Knight Alternus Dim! Who? What? Idea? You're alright. We've been mad with worry. But you are a captive to the Vestal no longer. Come, I will see she makes no move. Quickly, to my side. Come away from the Vestal. No, you keep away from him. If you intend to hurt Anyas or Tiz, you'll answer to me for it. What? What madness is this? You speak nonsense. I'm not her captive, and she poses no threat. I'm here of my own free will. What then? You betrayed the duchy? Betrayed your father? Have you lost your mind, girl? I'm entirely sane. In fact, there's much I've only begun to see clearly now that I've gone traitor. No more of this! Idea, bind the Vestal's hands. Do this now, and I'll forget all you've said here. Please. It seems you've already forgotten. I said no, Alternus. What new form of torment is this? I cannot bear these games, Adia. Do not do this to me. Take one step closer to Anyas and I'll do a lot worse. This is my decision. I'll hold nothing back. I may not be able to best you even so, but I will see that you bleed before I die. You're certain, then? I'm certain. 
silencing you would be a simple task. But one slip of my hand and even the flat of my blade would mean your end. I'm a poor hand at holding back. Then don't bother. I'm not the sort to be cowed by threats, Din. Perhaps I get that from my father. <laughs> I cannot keep this from your father. I ask once more, will you reconsider? My mind is set. Stubborn girl. You're... Very well. I shall withdraw for now. But know this, Vestal. You and your abettors are ever under our watch. What you aim to do runs counter to the flow of progress. You place mankind on the road to annihilation. I'll not allow you to go unchecked. It's time your wings were clipped. Ugh. Oh, the Sky Stone! Cool your head before we next meet, Medea. Sorry I wasn't much use back there. If I'd been more... You're safe. That is all I ask. Idea! Who was that man? He knew you! He's a member of the Council of Six. The Duchy of Eternia's highest governing body. And the six people sending an army after Agnes... Your tone was familiar. You were close? We grew up together. Rejoice, jolly companions. I found the loveliest seashells out there. Here, a gift from... <sighs> hmm? Did I miss something? Oh. <sighs> You really are hopeless, Ring-a-Bell. Mm hmm? Well? No good, I'm afraid. She won't budge an inch off the ground. Seems we're earthbound until we've another one of these Skystone things. Blast that alternate! And me for not seeing this coming! But we can't sit and stew here. Hurry up and do something! If the ship's grounded, that leaves travel by foot. I suppose we'll have to try our luck with this forest and its miasma. Oh no, we lost our ship! Well, kind of. We just can't fly now. We can totally swim though! We okay. Let's. Uh, that's not gonna do anything. Oh, we are completely and absolutely grounded. That sucks. Oh well. Hopefully, no one will steal our ship. But uh, ugh, my asthma. That sounds. Uh, that sounds fun. That could be fun, right? Disgusting, poisonous my asthma. Hmm. Well, we have no choice. But it's not... <coughs> not so dire that we can't manage another step. It may be perhaps that the return of the winds has thinned out the miasma for us. Whatever the cause, we'd best take advantage of it. If we can pass, let us do so now. Anshine. Alternus, you're as good as any. Speak up. 
I've heard rumors the Wind Crystal was awakened, as they would have it put. Indeed. And worse, since its awakening, the crystal has been protected by a shield that bars all but the Vestal. You made contact with the girl, did you not? Why did you not capture her then? Were these infamous allies of hers really so strong as to cow even you, the Dark Knight? They... No. Among those I saw accompanying the Vestal, one of them was Idea. My, my, my. This is a twist. Quite so. A shocking turn. So what then? You saw her, tucked your tail, and ran home crying? <laughs> How miserable! Still, if this is the truth, it is a troubling one. We look to you to lead all the Eternian forces, Lord Marshal. For your daughter and to abet, the Vestal is... problematic. How would you have us proceed? Hmm. Any who would join the Vestal in opposing us must be eliminated. Their birth matters not. Ah, bold words. But how truthful, I wonder. You would really allow her elimination? Your Lordship! The task before us is larger than us all. I'll not allow private matters to slow its course. Then, I shall go and speak with her again. Surely. I will go. It seems the Water Vestal is proving a problem as well. I shall go and pluck the both of them. I expect a suitable shower of accolades upon my successful return. Come, Victor! As you command. Lord Marshal, are you certain of this? Oh boy, so many cutscenes. Oh, there's a little fox here. Hi, little fox. That sells things? Oh, it's the same fox from uh, the, U the Ulano Woods. Neat. I like to own one of these. Okay, I'll definitely buy one of those. And, uh, Mithril Staff. And that should be good. Is there anything else that we could use? Mithril Helmet. Tiger Mask. Well, maybe, I don't think any of these really benefit us enough for me to buy them. Let's see, no special effect. Increases HP. Need to silence and need to sleep. Yeah, not really. Alright. So let's, uh, let's do some stuff about with our, uh, jobs then. So, at this particular point, there's not really a whole lot that we need from these classes that it's going to do us a whole lot of good. While the stuff you can get at the higher levels, the maximum job level is level 14, but the stuff you get at those levels requires three um, points in order to equip. So right now, with our abilities, we have three support ability costs. Well, not three. Two. We have two. So even if we were to receive them, we wouldn't be able to equip them anyways. Also, it's going to take a lot of job points in order to level them up. I think with Adia right now, it takes, what, 600 job points in order to level her up. And that's just way too much to grind. So, let's, uh... We can work on some of these other classes, these new ones that we've gotten. Although, I will keep Adia as a knight because there are some really good abilities that are cheap and easy to use with the knight class. And at level 8, the white mage gets the angelic ward ability. Which has a 50% chance of having the damage received, which is so good. I want that so badly. So, ring about, we're gonna change your class. There's not really anything else that we need from the Black Mage class right now, so we can go Time Mage with him. And we need to equip, I believe, the... Staff? Yes, it's a Staff. Simeon Staff, Mithril Staff. They do roughly the same thing. What's the difference between them? One does demo da double damage when attacking multiple animals enemies at once. And the other one increases mine by two, does 25% more damage when attacking multiple enemies at once. So is there a dip is there like an actual difference? So I guess we'll try the simian staff and see what that does. 
And, um, yeah, why not? Let's, uh, that the Metro Staff. We can play around with this and see what it does. Tis, I'm actually going to flip your job over to something else. And let us flip him over to Spellfancer. Let's give this a try. Check out those horns. They're huge. Looks like we're going to need another sword. So, Mr. Foxy, I have more business for you. This fox completely reminds me of the fox from Persona 4. Every time I see it, I, that's what I think. So let's go ahead and we'll equip that. Let me throw a sword. And let's give him a shield. Actually, better yet, we'll buy a shield. There we go, much better, much better. I'm not entirely sure why they don't let you just pick a character and then buy stuff for him. It would be a lot faster than going buy than equip. So that's just one of the few changes I would probably make, but man, that's just me. Alrighty, so, there's a couple more things we need to do. First off, having a time mage without any time magic kinda is a bad idea. And there's a place that actually sells time magic. Remember where it is? It's Anchime, all the way back in Anchime. Ow. Look at that one damage. So much damage. Ah, here we are. Let's see how much damage we're doing with our sword. As well as the... The bolt, and we'll, do, we'll check out the Simeon Staff, see how much that does. And the Dia, I'm just gonna do the bolt. let's see what this does. Eh, it's alright. Not great. Uh, Anya, if you could just uh, get rid of these enemies, that'd be great. In obvious hindsight, I probably should have bought this stuff before leaving for the forest. But, that's hindsight for you. Oh, there's poison. Anya, if you could do us a favor and just heal her up. Thank you. Now, where was the magic shot? Magic shot was a little higher up, I believe. There we go. And I will buy everything that you have. Because I have a whopping 30,000 P. Alright. The other thing we haven't done in a while, we have not uh, done our tutorial quests. So let's see, we've rearranged our party. We've done multi target magic. So what's left? Update your street pass data. I could have sworn I've done that already, though. Yeah, I've totally done that. I haven't done that yet. Page to D's journal. Oh, okay, you have to actually read through the uh, dagger section. That's fine. But actually, speaking of D's journal, I found something fairly interesting in the uh, enigmatic writings. So if you go all the way down, almost to the very end... I think it was... let's see, where is it? You find this. Bottom screen, you, you see a very small drawing. Beforehand, it tells the story of how he was accompanying a young lad. And there's a picture of the owner in the bottom right hand corner. Curious and curiouser. So, in the next episode, we continue our journey. We must make our way through the miasmic woods. So, until next time, thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you're having a fantastic day.